Hello, my name is Andre. I'm a content creator. I've been creating content for quite a few years now and I enjoy everything about it. So welcome to my channel. When it comes down to video, you're going to need some place or some type of card. This is a 32 gig scan disk. The thing about memory cards though, I would double check with your manufacturer to find out which cards they recommend and purchase those. All right, because when it comes down to recording video nowadays, we're recording in 4K, recording in 8K, 6K, 10K, whatever have you. That card has to have a fast enough read and write speed in order for you to actual capture all those moments. Now, you may be able to capture some and then you find out that the card is either stopping um, midway or you have to press record again. Chances are the read write speed is not fast enough to keep up with the data that's trying to be placed on that card. Card. So keep that in mind. Double check with your manufacturer. Purchase the cards they recommend, and you should be fine. Now even memory cards fail, so I find myself soon as I get home backing it up to an external hard drive. Now these are great. This is a spinning disk hard drive inside, um, and it's great for storing footage. Uh, but when it comes down to editing footage. I use what they call a solid state drive and the solid state drive is like a memory card and you know it's great for uh, editing video it has a fast read write speed uh, there's no spinning disk in here so uh, when you're ready to edit get yourself a solid state drive now moving on for me like I said memory cards do fail um, I had maybe one or two fell on me in the past so I'm a little bit cautious when I go out and record. So with my Canon C100, I plug in this Atomus Ninja 2. The great thing about this monitor is it has a hard drive, 120 gigs. So when I press record on my camera, it's recording to this hard drive. So again, I have a backup. Now, there's other great features with these new monitors. Uh, some of them let you record in higher codecs, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, I'll leave a link in the description about that as well as some of this other gear that we discussed. Now, moving right along, I cannot forget about sound. Sound is very, very important when it comes down to video production. The C100 has, does a great job with capturing sound, but I'm using what I like to call a lapel mic or lavalier mic, uh, and it's plugged right into my C100. This is the Tascam DR44WL. I love this little unit here. It has the XLR inputs, uh, has two mics up top. I have four lines to record to. Um, I can plug into a PA system or a speaker using one of these XLLs and um, I can press record and everything coming across that mic system is being recorded. Now I can also monitor this from a distance because it has a app um, that you can download. So remember this model, I'll leave a link in the description. I know this one's pretty hard to find. I uh, wanted to purchase another one uh, a few months ago, couldn't find it. But I'll leave a link in the description to one that does the same and similar. So keep that in mind if you're out here in the field and you just don't have time, you can place this on the table, get some extra backup to your audio, especially if you're using a DSLR and you plan on using the sound, you know, in your edit. All right, so good audio when editing. Make sure you use a solid state drive when you're out there in the field, moving around. Um, at least if you do wind up dropping your hard drive, chances are you're gonna be able to retrieve that footage. But if you drop one with a spinning disc, it's a 50-50 chance. I didn't been there and lost footage, you know. Um, so hopefully you continue to do what you do. I'm not here to discourage you. I'm here to encourage you. So feel free to leave those comments. Just subscribe to the channel. Until the next one, my name's Andre. And remember to capture those moments, y'all. Peace.